Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a campus tour around UT Austin. As you know, I'm a junior economics student and in the background you can see the tower. We'll stop by that later. I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour from south to north along our main road on campus, which is called Speedway. So let's go. Right behind me, is the fountain. There's a lot of senior porches going on right now. I just saw my friend fighting for a spot at the fountain. Yeah, I'm gonna take you guys into campus now to probably one of the busiest intersections where there is the Macomb School of Business. So if you can see behind me, there's a really large atrium downstairs. Um, I'd say it's the coolest part of this building. It's the business building. So this is where a lot of my entrepreneurship classes happen. Really nice to work here. Really good um, natural light, as you can see up there. and. Yeah, I spent a lot of time here freshman year. So now we're gonna go to the University Teaching Center or the UTC. This is where a lot of lectures are held and hopefully one's open right now. I know classes are still going on and I'll show you guys what those look like. So this is pretty much what most, if not all, UTC lecture halls look like. Just your run in the mill college lecture hall, what you'd see in the movies. There's no windows in any of the lecture halls, which sucks. I work really well in natural light, so it's a little tough paying attention in class in the UTCs. But one of my classes in here this semester is super entertaining, so I really don't mind. So let's go now right across the street to the PCL library. So this is one of the, actually, no, it is the largest library on campus. It's So right behind me is the freshman dorm, Jester West. There's also Jester East. These are the two biggest dorms on campus. My mom actually stayed in Jester West when she went to college here. I did not, I stayed off campus. Um, but yeah, I can't go in those buildings because I'm not a freshman, nor do I live there. And if you're a freshman, this is where you're normally eating. And then just across the street is Gregory Gym, which is one of the main gyms on campus. Here we have a weight room, a basketball court, four of them actually, and then two or three volleyball courts. And where the basketball courts actually is where our national championship volleyball team plays. So which is pretty cool to play here on campus in the gym that all the students use. My favorite part is the climbing wall indoors. I used to climb a lot, not anymore, but I'll throw some clips in here. And we also have a swimming pool. I can't really record the swimming pool or gym just because people are really weird about that. That's all for this really big intersection of campus. I know that's been a lot. So let's go a little more north. Right now, I'm on top of the WCP SAC or the Student Activity Center. So in this building, there's a lot of things. There's a really large lecture hall. I just tried to go in there. There's a class going on, but there's also a food court uh, where a lot of people get lunch and can study. And up here is a really open study area. It's super nice, especially during this weather and there's really great views. And on top of here, there's also an art installation called Sky Space by an artist named James Terrell. Um, he has some really famous pieces of architecture um, and this is honestly one of my favorite places to just chill at. There's people in there right now. Um, hopefully I can show you guys that in a couple seconds. So this is the rare instance of me holding the camera, but it's called Sky Space. As you can see there, Sky Space. It's just this really large, I guess, wide open dome and the location of the spotlight changes throughout the day, which is really cool. And I think at night there is um, some sort of exhibit in here. So luckily I caught it before that happens because they don't allow recording in here normally. So 
So just across the street from the WCP Student Activity Center is the tower. It's UT's most famous landmark and inside there's a library. I think it's like more archival, so not really like library library. And here at the tower, they actually host a lot of events. Last semester, uh, during winter finals actually, they got Diplo to come perform. So it was really funny seeing everybody not in concert attire, um, just watching Diplo and watching him rip it on the board. So I got to take photos there, which is really nice. And the tower actually overlooks the South Mall. This is a pretty popular hangout spot, especially when it's sunny out. It's a large lawn right under the tower. And going down the alleyways, there's three lecture halls on each side. They're pretty small. They're called the Six Pack, which is a very fitting name. And from the tower, going down to the South Mall right here, going down to the fountain, it actually goes all the way down to the Capitol, which is pretty cool. So now I'm gonna go show you guys where I take a majority of my economics classes. So on the second to last stop of the tour, which is right next door to the WCP Student Activity Center that you saw earlier, is Robert L. Patton Hall, or just Patton Hall. This is where the Liberal Arts Building is, which is where economics is under at UT Austin. So I have a lot of my economics classes here. Not my favorite place. I definitely like McCombs more, which was a business building. Now I'm gonna take you guys to the last stop. This is the last stop of the tour. I'm outside of Welch Hall right now. Here's where a lot of STEM, like chem, bio, physics classes happen. It's not a building that I have any classes in, but they have really large lecture halls here. Um, and I really like to study them sometimes. They have cool art installations. And also my friends and I have actually had a movie night in one of the lecture halls here once because they're massive and the projectors are free to connect to just as long as you have a UT ID. So that's all for this tour. Um, the buildings north on Speedway from here are all engineering buildings which I personally don't go to and I could tell you guys absolutely nothing about. So if you're an engineering major, I highly recommend you look up uh, the EER, which is really cool. Um, the PMA, which has a massive telescope on top of it that they open Wednesday nights for free for students to come up and look at stars. I'm gonna go get food now because I'm pretty hungry and let's finish out there. So just before I get food, um, I stop by the fountain again just to show you guys how many people will take photos here for their graduation. Um, people are superstitious about hopping in the fountain before you graduate because they say you won't graduate or whatever. But actually against Alabama, I don't think anybody really cared about that as you'll see right here. Now I'm going to go get food because I'm really hungry after walking all around campus. Thank you, my friend. So right now I'm in Doby, which is freshman, mainly freshman apartments on campus. This is technically the last stop. I just got a burrito. So in Doby, the apartments are upstairs, right on the level where I am, which is technically the ground floor. There's a food court, um, burrito factories here, there's a Gong Cha here, and there's also an Oma's Kitchen, which is like a Korean um, spot. And downstairs is a Target, so this place technically has it all, but the apartments aren't the best from what I heard, so I wouldn't recommend staying here if you're an incoming freshman. So I'm gonna enjoy this burrito. Thanks for tuning in on this campus tour throughout UT Austin, and tune in next week to see a productive day in my life. Peace.